This is the Rope Masters Video Cast, your source for the best in rope skipping instruction. Hosted by world champion Peter Nessler. Welcome back to Michigan. Uh, it's another cold day out, but that is how things are this time of year. Uh, this episode, we're going to be covering some rope wraps. Um, the first one we're going to do for the JV is a crisscross, and how do you do a rope wrap out of that back into a crisscross? And the varsity skills, kind of a combo that I've been working on here lately, um, involves some turning and wrapping and some different stuff like that. And I just thought it'd be kind of cool to cover um, a couple different variations on what you could do with rope wraps um, in jump roping. The JV skill. For the JV, we're going to be covering a crisscross rope wrap. Now, what it'll do when we're finished is go from here, cross, wrap, and out the other side, cross, wrap, and out. Now, it's kind of a, it's not a very super difficult trick to do, um, but it does add a little bit of variety to doing regular crisscrosses. Um, what we're going to start with is you're going to come over, do a crisscross. Now, as it's coming over, the rope wrap part of this, um, you need to make sure, first of all, that you can do um, side swings pretty comfortably if you want to do this. Um, so you should just be able to go side swing, side swing, and out. You should feel comfortable doing that. Um, side swings on both sides, going back and forth and also your crisscross. Now to combine those, like I said, we're gonna come over. Now whatever hand is on top is the arm you're gonna wrap on. So for me, I'm gonna go from here. Um, if my left hand is on top, I'm gonna bring it over. Now what's gonna happen is as the rope comes over, you jump. I'm gonna go straight over so it wraps onto my arm this direction. Now what you'll do is from here, this hand, as it comes over, I'm gonna swing it to this side to unwrap and then it'll come right out back into a crisscross. So what it'll look like again, you go jump, the hand that's on top swings over, it's gonna come over onto a wrap. Now the rope, if you leave it over here, is just gonna keep wrapping on your arm, which is not what we're trying to do, remember. So you wanna just have it wrap one time. So just have this one loop here. As it comes over, you go to a side swing this side, which will unwrap it, and you'll come back into just a regular crisscross here. So once again, a little bit faster this time. You'll come over, jump, wrap, swing, wrap. So we'll try it on the other side this time. If I go this hand on this side, we're gonna go over, jump, wrap that side, unwrap, and jump. So it goes over, wrap, unwrap, jump, and then this side, whoop, we'll go over, jump, wrap, unwrap, jump. So you wanna practice doing that really slow, kind of like that where you feel really comfortable doing the swings here, doing it on both sides. Once you can do that, you can speed it up. So you're jumping and out. And just keep working on that. And it looks a little bit different than the regular crisscross. It's a little variation versus doing just a crisscross into a side swing crisscross. Can add some variety to what you're doing. And also gets you involved in starting to do some rope wraps. The varsity skill. All right, for the varsity skill, we're going to be covering the whack me rope wrap. And it's called that because you're going to hit yourself a lot while you do this. Um, now, what it is going to be when you finish, um, you're going to be doing something here, see if I can get it. It goes around and around. So that's the finished product of this trick. It's a double, it's kind of like a two and a half triple under because the first part you're doing a turn, it's kind of a double under. It's maybe a little bit more than a double, not quite a triple. Then the second half is a triple at the end. Now, walking through it on the ground, this is going to seem rather simple, but once you start doing it in the air, this one, you're going to hit yourself a lot. Um, if you notice my head, I got a nice wrap or sort of whip mark on my head because I whacked it pretty hard. Now, what you'll start with, start off forward. You're going to jump, turn. What you're going to do, depending on which way you turn, is going to dictate which arm is going to go down, which arm is going to go get wrapped on, all that stuff. I turn to my left, so when I turn, I turn left. My left arm is going to go down back behind my leg, so to come right here. What I'm going to do here is this is going to go between my legs. This rope's going to come up, and I'm going to wrap it backwards right here. So that's the first part. So walking through that again, I turn one, two, and a half right there maybe three, I call it two and a half. So you get to here, second half, you come out, jump, and under. So, and you'll notice there's a slight pause, you're gonna kinda 
pause right there, and then out. And the reason I do that pause is because if you just go right away, you're going to whip yourself all the time. So I kind of learned by whipping myself a lot that you need to pause. So what you'll do again, start here, you jump, one, two, three, sort of slight pause, one, two, three, all the way under, and land. So you want to walk through that one quite a few times, and the walk through, you don't even have to jump for, is just going to be that. So you just want to practice that one quite a few times, turn, swing, swing, out. So you just work on that one, go through, swing, wrap, come around, and out. And remember, whatever way you're turning, left arm or to my left side, left arm goes behind my leg, wrapping on my right arm. Once it wraps that one time, unwrap this side, both hands come out, and you land it, jumping backwards. So you want to work up. First of all, go to here. You got that part, pause, jump, and all the way under. So once you combine them, you go here, jump, pause, and around. And then also you'll notice that I'm kicking this leg up. To get that rope out from underneath you without it catching on that leg, you do need to lift that leg up um, pretty high to make sure it doesn't get hit. Um, so once more, up, around, and around, and you want to get that one whipped under you. So that's a variation on what you can do with rope wraps. Um, there's a lot of really creative things that you can do if you're willing to kind of combine them. They're hard to do if you're trying to do a quad or quintuple trick straight. So I've kind of come to a conclusion that they look really cool if you do them in doubles or triples, but do them as part of combinations. And there's a lot of really cool tricks you could do with rope wraps. For more information, check out www.jumprm.com.